Sagal Azad Yusuf Sanar Pasha, his epithet meaning son of Sakala, was an Ottoman Italian statesman who held the office of Grand Vizier for 40 days between 27 October to 5 December 1596. During the reign of Mehmed III, he was also a Karpudan Pasha as well as a military general. He was born as Scipio in Sakala in Genoa or Messina around 1545, as a member of the aristocratic Genoza family of Sakala. His father, a Viscount, was, according to Stefan Gerlach, a corsair in the service of Spain, while his mother is said to have been a Turk from Castelnuovo. The Visconti and his son, captured at the Battle of Jabar by the Ottoman navy in 1560 or 1561, were taken first to Tripoli in North Africa and then to Constantinople. The father was in due course ransomed from captivity and, after living for some time at Bioglu, returned to Messina, where he died in 1564. His son, Scipione, was not released, but was inducted into the Ottoman Corps of Young Boys to be trained for imperial service. He converted, as was required, to Islam and was trained in the imperial palace, rising to the rank of Salata. He eventually married, first one and then another great-granddaughter of Suleiman the Magnificent. He found himself assured of wealth, high office and protection at the port. He became Agar of the Janissaries in 1575 and retained this office until 1578. During the next phase of his career he saw much active service in the Long Ottoman-Persian War of 1578-1590. He was Bailey Biavan in 1583, and assumed command, in the same year, of the great fortress of Erevan, being raised to the rank of vizier at the same time. He also played a prominent role, once more as Bailey Avan, in the campaign of 1585 against Tabriz. As Bailey B. of Bayezid, an appointment which he received in 1586, he fought with success in western Persia during the last years of the war, bringing Nihavand and Hamidan under Ottoman control. After the peace of 1590, he was made governor of Erzurum, and in 1591, became Karpudan Pasha or Grand Admiral of the Ottoman fleet. He held this office until 1595. During the third Grand Vizierate of Caucasus and Pasha, he was promoted to fourth vizier. At that time, the Ottomans had been at war with Austria since 1593. Kagaloglu Yusuf Sanar Pasha, by then appointed third vizier, accompanied Sultan Mehmed III on the Hungarian campaign of 1596. He tried in vain to relieve the fortress of Hapvan, which fell in September 1596. He was present at the successful Ottoman siege of Agar and at the Battle of Mezokaristus in October 1596 and took part in the final assault that turned an imminent defeat into a notable triumph for the Ottomans. In reward for his services, he was made Grand Vizier, but the discontent arising from the measures which he used in an effort to restore discipline amongst the Ottoman forces, the troubles which followed his intervention in the affairs of the Crimean Tatars, and the existence at court of powerful influences eager to restore Damit Ibrahim Pasha to the Grand Vizierate, brought about his deposition from this office after 40 days. He was Bailey B. of Damascus from December 1597 to January 1598. In May 1599, he was made Karpudan Pasha for the second time. In 1604, he assumed command of the Eastern Front, where a new war between the Ottomans and the Persians had broken out in the preceding year. His campaign of 1605 was unsuccessful, the forces he led towards Tabriz suffering defeat near the shore of Lake Hermia. Kagaloglu had to withdraw to the fortress of Van and thence in the direction of Diyabkir. He died in the course of this retreat in December 1605. He was ancestor of Ilhan Iyarem, who was a famous Turkish pop singer.
The Kagaloglu quarter in Istanbul, a household name in Turkey for having been the equivalent of London's Fleet Street as the city's press centre, and where Yusuf Sanar Pasha had constructed a palace and a hammam, is named after him and carries his name to this day. The bath, known as Kagaloglu Hammam after the Pasha, was reconstructed in 1741. The song, Sanar Kapudan Pashia, by the Genos, a singer-songwriter Fabrizio de Andre tells the story of Sanar Pasha. It is completely in Genosa dialect and is a part of the album Cruiser de Mar.